Welcome to the session. Today we are going to cover how to use Azure Redis Cache in ASP.NET application. Redis is an acronym for Remote Dictionary Server, and basically it is known as a key value store which is used as a database cache and message broker. To get us started, I have logged into Azure. Next we need to create the Redis Cache resource. Now let us give a unique DNS name, select a resource group and location. In the pricing tier section, as you can see, it is pretty costly, so be careful while choosing the tier. For the time being, let's select the CoBasic tier. And you are good to go. This will take some seconds. Your Redis cache is successfully created. Now if we have a look at the newly created resource group. In the settings session we can see the access keys, which we will be using in our MVC application shortly. Our next step is to create a MVC application. And when it is done, install stackexchange.redis from the Nugget Package Manager. Once the installation is complete, we are going to set up the config file. Open the web.config file from the Solution Explorer. Get the primary connection string from the Redis cache and add to the configuration. And in the home controller, add two parameters, one is for connection and the other for storing database. Also don't forget to add the required namespaces. Give the controller a constructor where we can initialize the connection string. And of course, we need a view, so create one with a couple of fields inside a form. Now, add an action method for our view with the post attribute. Then initiate the connection to the redis cache and provide the required if else statements. Run the application in debug mode. Let's put a breakpoint. Now enter a ping command that will execute the first if statement. And now you see the response as pong. Next, let's try to store a string set to string name. Back to our code, this time the second if block will execute and the response is true which indicates that the value is stored successfully. And again if we are trying to retrieve the value for message, we should get hello world as the result. We can add one more key value pair and try retrieving them. As expected everything works fine. Thanks for watching. See you in next session.